Hello and welcome to this video where we will learn how to calculate the trend percentages that we use as a form of horizontal analysis. Recall that horizontal means from side to side. So horizontal analysis looks at financial data over two or more years, comparing similar items to see how they have changed and what this might mean. There are two types of horizontal analysis. In another video we look at dollar and percentage changes. But a second form of horizontal analysis is called trend analysis, which examines company trends over a number of years. We will practice trend analysis in this video. On your screen, you will see the data we will be using for this exercise. We have comparative income statement numbers for the last five years. Notice that we have sales revenue and cost of goods sold. In this video, we will first calculate gross profit for each year, then compute the trend percentages for the five years for all three financial statement items. Finally, we will look at the numbers to see what they tell us about the company. So let's get started. First, how do we calculate gross profit? Hopefully, you remember that it is net sales minus cost of goods sold. Here, we'll set up a simple formula and copy it to all of the years. For year five, our gross profit will be equal to the 450,000 minus the 315,000 or 135,000. Is that good or bad? Well, given what we have to date, it's hard to tell. Let's see what happened to gross profit over the last five years. So we're going to calculate the gross profit over the last five years by doing the same thing, subtracting sales minus cost of goods sold. When we look at the numbers, we see that although sales have increased from 250,000 to 450,000, gross profit has only increased by $5,000. It looks like our cost of goods sold has been going up faster than our sales. Let's run some trend percentages to see what they can tell us. Trend percentages show how a number has changed from the base year or the earliest year presented. In that case here, in our case here, it's going to be year one. So for sales revenue, we will divide each number by sales in year one or $250,000. So in year one, each of our numbers is going to be 100% because we're dividing it by itself. I'm going to make this an absolute reference because then each number will be divided by the 250,000. So in the year two, we're going to divide the 270,000 by the 250,000. Year three, again, divide by the 250. So we're going to take the 295,000 divide by the 250,000. So let's drag this across and see what we have. Okay, so those are our trend percentages. So we can see we have 180% or our sales have gone up 80% in year five over what they were in year one. Remember, this is different from the other kind of horizontal analysis where we compare two years. We're comparing everything here back to year one. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video for a minute and see if you can calculate the trend percentages for cost of goods sold and for gross profit. Remembering that practice is always the best way to learn. Okay, so let's see what we have. Now, notice that any time a number is greater than the base year, the trend percentage will be greater than 100%, which is the case here since sales have gone up each year. So now let's take a look at cost of goods sold. Each year, we will divide by the base year or $120,000. Again, I'm going to make the $120,000 in the denominator an absolute reference because we're going to divide each of these numbers, each of those gets divided back by the 120,000. Okay, so those are the percentages that you should have had. It looks like our cost of goods sold has been going up faster than our sales, which we suspected when we looked at the numbers at the beginning. Finally, let's see what's happening to gross profit.
Okay, so remember each number will be 100% in the base year. And now all of our gross profit numbers are divided back by $130,000. Remember we said that any time a number is greater than the base year, the trend percentage will be greater than 100%. Well, here we see what happens when the number has decreased from the base year. Will it be negative? Nope, it's not going to be negative. It's only going to be less than 100% as we see here in years 2 and 4. In the end, we note that for this company, though it has had good increases in its sales, the gross profit is almost flat due to the increases in cost, cost of goods sold. Well, that's about all we have for this video on trend analysis. I hope you find it helpful in your studies.